So you join me again at my Northern Syndicate. It's uh, mixed weather conditions. It can't decide whether it wants to be blowing a gale and heavy rain or one minute. The sun's out, it's blazing hot. I've got my sun cream on. But every few minutes I seem to be dashing back into my bivvy and taking cover, so. Mixed conditions. 24 hours into a 48 hour session, currently blanking. Um, like I've said previously, it's a new lake for me, so I'm just really just working, working out what works best and just familiarising myself with the lake. Last time I was here, I fished the peg on the other side of the lake and I managed to get one out. That was on a 48 hour, so. In fact, last session I fished two pegs, uh, 24 hours on each one, but yeah, I've decided on a different peg. So when this syndicate first opened in the spring this year, this peg got hammered a little bit and fish were getting caught. And then fish started getting caught from other pegs and what usually happens, people then start moving around a bit, but this was the original hot peg when it first opened. Um, well, I'll show you around the lake a little bit, but in a nutshell, it's nice and clear in the middle and basically anywhere 20 yards from the bank, lovely and clear, nothing at all on the bottom, goes down with a nice hard thud, had a really good lead about, but that's the deep part and that's probably why it's so clear, it's 24 foot. So. So the first 15 yards, first 20 yards from, from my swim going all the way around the margin area, it's just real thick weed, it's really, it's, it's deep for, for, your, for your normal type of lake, it's anywhere between 10 and 15 foot, even just a few feet from the bank, so it's pretty deep, but the weed is so thick, so when I originally got here yesterday, I spent a while ledding around because I really wanted to get an idea of what was what was out there in this swim and obviously I found the clear area in the middle which was immediately like the go-to place in my head for, for at least a rod. Um, everywhere around the marginal area was just thick with weed, wasn't getting any drop. Pulling back and it was just getting caught in weed so it wasn't good. So. I found one spot which I know has produced some fish in the past, which has a little bit of weed but it's not too thick. So I got one rod on there with a solid bag and then the other two rods I pretty much had over the same area in the middle of the lake, in the deep water, and I put bait over the top of that. Both of them were on solid bags as well. So the first 24 hours been and gone and I've not had a bite. But what did happen last night was I started seeing signs of fish. The first fish that I seen was in the peg next to me, which is in the other corner uh, on this bank. And there is someone going in that um, tomorrow or Saturday, and I, I didn't want to be stepping on anyone's toes. So I decided not to go into that peg, and I just hoped that they'd start showing in my peg, and that's what happened. So a couple of hours after I'd seen a few fish showing in that corner, I started showing in front of me, and I was really surprised. I was just sat there relaxing, looking out, and one really, it wasn't even a head and shoulder, it was a, a leap out of the water, about two rod lengths in front of me. So just past the floating weed that you can see. Um, and it was a good mid double. So I immediately brought one of my deep rods in and I put a solid bag just at, in there which I didn't get a drop, it was in thick weed, but I knew that there were fish were there. And then the other signs of fish were sort of to the left of me along the bank, which is out of bounds. And you can fish over there if you can cast over there, but you can't walk around and drop your, your rig in that way. And it jumped, well, I seen a fish head and shoulder and it was above an area which I knew was thick weed again. So I brought my other deep rod in because I just wasn't feeling it. I think if anything I might have picked off a couple of bream out in the deep water. I just don't think the carp are there. And I put another solid bag over where that fish head and shouldered over the thick weed. 
wasn't confident going into the night because solid bags they are they are very good and I've caught loads of fish fishing with solid bags but when it, the weed's that thick you can never really guarantee a decent presentation it will sometimes slip along and, and slip down and, and present itself but it might be in that thicker weed that the fish don't really like to to get amongst it so like I say I was fishing in the right area but I wasn't fishing effectively so I had to think about things this morning and I know that the weed can go two or three foot off the bottom so I've decided to put the zigs out on all three rods and I've got um, four foot zigs out so the zig is sat above this weed and I'm hoping to pick them off that way um, so I've done that at 11 o'clock this morning so between now and me going over tomorrow I'm just going to be using my zigs I'll probably leave them out and I'll bring them in mid-afternoon just to make sure that they weren't tangled although I'm pretty sure they're not so yeah so I've got my left hand rod where I've seen a fish show my middle rod is on the spot where I know it's caught some fish in the past from other anglers and my right hand rod was just in front of me two rod lengths out where I've seen a fish uh, do an acrobatic flip last night there's only myself on the lake which is just what I love about syndicates um, I just enjoy the peace and quiet and um, yeah it's um, I'm, I was booked on for Wednesday, Wednesday to Friday, so midweek, only person on. There's another person coming on tomorrow, he starts at 48, um, but I'll be off tomorrow afternoon at some point. Apparently there's heavy rain forecast for tomorrow afternoon, so I'll keep checking the weather app and um, if it's still going to be due on the afternoon then I might end up packing up before that, just so I don't have to dry my bivvy out because it's a nightmare. But um, no, I'm really, um, really enjoying this session. I've, um, I've not been fishing since I was here last time, so it's been a good six weeks. Uh, just really busy at the moment with work um, and just other family commitments and everything. Um, not complaining. And this year is just all about, like I say, finding my feet and just enjoying being on the bank of a nice and quiet lake you know everyone has their own preferences and what they want when they go out fishing to some people it's always about it's about the size of the car or the amount they can catch and you know i've enjoyed my time fishing those type of lakes those type of venues but i just like peace and quiet you know when you're working away and you know, life can be stressful, sometimes all you want is a bit of peace and quiet with the opportunity to catch a nice carp, that's just perfect for me. I'm not so bothered about the size of the fish. Um, you know, this place is close at home which have big carp in, um, but it just doesn't tick all the right boxes for me. Um, this is a challenging lake and, I, and that's what I look for now. Um, I want a bit of weed, I want I want to have to really think about where I'm gonna place my rigs and not just pup chuck not just pup chuck a, a Ronnie rig and and catch a 30, 30 pounder. It's just it's not my thing. But I'm waffling, so I'm gonna stop now. Um, and hopefully during the night I'll get some ink. If not, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you again.